Hi everyone, it's me, Ren the Bird Tamer, coming to you with another video. Again, <laughs> today I wanted to talk about Kawagi, the uh, troubled mystery kid. But before I start, I wanted to give spoilers, because I will go into it and it gets crazy, so I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's watching the series or reading the manga. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so Kawaki is a little bit confusing to me. Like, I like him, but he's really, really complex. He's like two, uh, Sasuke 2.0, but better because his backstory. I mean, Sasuke is, is really sad too, but it seems like Kawaki has more of a reason for being why he is. You know, it's just, it kind of makes more sense. Um, not saying that Sasuke's uh, past and sad or that his reasoning wasn't good either, but, um, uh, yeah. So, how they found Kawagi was, um, it was a, 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 during a rescue mission. But before that, they were on a, another mission. Team 7 was Boruto, Sarada, and Mitsukini were um, on a mission for Naruto. And they managed to finish it, but then they got a call right in the middle. And they had to go and um, try to find Konohamaru and Mongo, who were in missing in action. They had um, gone radio silent during a pretty high rank mission, or more like a... Um, rent, uh, Reconnaissance mission where they were looking to see evidence of what was going on with this blimp and during that they got attacked and they were hiding out in a cave. Boruto and his team find them, long story short, and they're trying to get out of the cave with the injured Mongo but they get cornered by Ao, the mist ninja they met on the train earlier. And he has the um, orders from um, Kara, the organization that we will talk about a little bit later in the video. And he has orders from them to kill them. And he tries to. He really does. But they put up a really good fight. And Mongo eventually um, sacrifices himself so they can get away. And they're running out of the cave. And they think they've gotten away. And they are walking back to the Leaf Village. And they happen to, or Mitsukini happens to pick up a scent or chakra or something. And he diverts into the trees away from the others who are, um, who are confused by his actions and follow him. And what they find is more robot carnage everywhere like around the blimp this ninja tech i forgot to mention it was stolen from uh, the professor or the scientist and used against them so they find this pile of carnage of robots and then this boy laid out and he's pretty beat up but he's literally destroyed these robots and it's obvious he is very strong because <laughs> They were more damaged than he is, and it took, like, everything that um, Boruto and the others had to defeat the uh, ninja tech. They actually had to use ninja tech against ninja tech to stop him. And um, they were worried about this boy passed out on the ground. Like, he's a mystery. He doesn't have any bandana that they, uh, or headband that they recognize, or, and he doesn't look recognizable, and he's seriously injured. So they uh, go to pick him up while he's dreaming. He's uh, going back to his um, his past and how he used to be abused by his own father. And he was actually bought off of his father by the uh, guy that now hunts him down. He's like the, uh, um, he's like the leader, but a little more on that later. While the Leaf Ninja are taking care of Kawagi, Kara car members are watching them from the branches and obviously they have no intention of letting them him t you know letting them take Kawagi without a fight of course and Kawagi wakes up and he is disoriented and starts lashing out because he thinks they're car members and of course Boruto and Komahamaru try to calm him down but to no avail 
Then the Kara people come in, and they all have this crazy fight. Again, I was actually crushed, because he, uh, he saves Boruto, um, restoring his shinobi honor. And it's, it's really sad, you know? Despite him having killed Mongo, um, Boruto actually didn't forgive him at first, but then he forgave him for saving his life. But, yeah, they, uh, they attack this, uh, well, not, they're not attacked, not by the horror people in the tree, but the, um, the other guy that's pursuing Kawagi. And Kawagi's actually up and fighting, and the creepy thing is he uses the same ability that Boruto has. The little, um, little diamond thing on his hand. And they find out later that it's called a karma. But, um, yeah, Kawagi beats this guy to a pulp. And then he passes out again. The Leaf Ninja take them, uh, take him back to the village, you know, intending to question him a little bit more about the mark on his palm. And, um, yeah, so that's how they actually initially in introduce Kawagi, but, uh, yeah, um, it does get interesting, like, he stays in the Leaf Village for a little while, after they've, um, interrogated him, he tells him about Kara and Karma, and is curious why Boruto has the same thing. At first, you know, they thought it would actually help calm Kwagi down, but it actually freaks him out more, because he thinks they're with Kara, until they finally get through to him that they're not with Kara, and that they will help, you know, protect him from Kara. And, you know, he slowly starts to open up to everyone. He, uh, kind of, he's actually really cute. This one moment where they get him Taiyaki out on the town with, like, Naruto is guarding him. So he doesn't try to get away, because he's actually gotten, tried to get away a few times. And she's broken the, the vase that Himawari made, and Boruto was, like, really pissed at him. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they're out getting Taiyaki, or that little fish bean paste thing. And they buy him one, Sardeth. Um, suggest a different flavor, but and then he's like, I want chocolate. So they give him a chocolate taiyaki, and it's so cute because once he takes a bite, he looks at it, and then he's like munching it like a squirrel. This is so ridiculously good, he says, and it's like so cute. <laughs> so he ha does have these cute moments where he's like really innocent about things, and it's adorable. And I, I don't know, it's just he, he has different sides. He has this innocent side, and then he has this dark, brooding, injured side, and it's, it's interesting. But, um, yeah, he's not all bad, I think. You know, he may be like a Sasuke 2.0, but he, uh, he definitely has good in him, despite being genetically engineered to be different. He literally becomes a weapon. Like, not only does he have the karma, but he can actually turn his arm into this weapon. And he actually uses it to save Naruto and Himawari when they're um, facing off against Delta. And it's so sweet. So that creep actually is using Himawari to draw Naruto in to attack with her laser beams that actually can dis deconstruct matter. Like, if you get hit by it, you, get, you, just, you just die, like the arm or limb dies. So he throws himself in front of them, and it's so cool and it's just like okay this guy is not as bad as he seems and you know they you know pr promise to protect him so he kind of becomes part of the leaf village slowly and after he saves naruto and himawari he um becomes friends with boruto and starts to show him how to use the karma because you can actually learn how to use it but the funny thing is when one uses it the other feels it it's it's really weird it's hard to explain you gotta actually read the manga or watch the anime it's so strange like it's like a it's like a um chain reaction when one uses it the other uses it and they're definitely connected somehow it's surprising and i don't know why but i really find boruto's karma kind of pretty it's like an eerie beauty sort of thing to it but um yeah, um, back to Kwagi himself, though. You know, you gotta feel bad, because, you know, when you go back into his past, it just it shows again his past, and he's actually terrified. Like, he's sitting in the flower shop, and he's um, getting a new vase for Himawari, um, 
because he actually does feel bad. He didn't have any malice with it when he broke the vase when he was fighting with Boruto, but um, but Boruto still insisted he fixed it. So he uh, m- misguidedly he goes to buy a new one when you know he could have just glued the other one back together, <laughs> which he eventually does. But um, while he's in the flower shop, uh, and he's picking out you know a vase and then Eno comes over with the flower stems and they look like tubes and when she's starting to put them in he has this flashback of when he was a lab rat you know back in karma head uh, car headquarters and he freaks out about it and it's like really really sad because when he snaps back to it he actually pulls away and drops the vase and startles everyone and then he looks terrified and it's just it's so sad but they promise to protect him, and they do, and it's so sweet. But the strange thing is somewhere in the timeline, because I haven't actually gotten very far, like I've only gotten far enough to where, you know, he's starting to open up, and he's actually given Boruto a very super rare um, trading card, you know, <laughs> and he's gotten close to Boruto after saving him Awari. But somewhere along the line, he turns crazy and destroys the leaf. He must have... a Sasuke moment where either he's corrupted or he truly becomes friends with everyone and then he just he's not satisfied with that and then he goes and just goes bananas or something but um I really do hope that Boruto can bring him back because I really like this character and I feel bad for him maybe they can um fix it but that's my uh, thoughts on Kawagi um like, subscribe, tell me what you think um, is going on with him in the comments below. Ren the Bird Tamer out.